Hey what's up guys and welcome to a new Iron Man video. So in the last one I said I will be needing to do some fishing and that's exactly what I have been doing. I went all the way from 44 to almost 55 actually, only 2.5k experience left on lobsters. And now I should have a lot of food, uh, 1160 raw lobsters in the bank. But obviously I will burn some when I do the cooking. Hopefully I don't burn too many though so I will get back to you guys when I'm done and uh, show how many I did burn and what cooking level I'm at. So yeah, without cooking gauntlets you do burn quite a bit and also I didn't really have that high cooking level before I started but I started burning way less halfway through it pretty much and I'm now 55 cooking and the amount that I got was 870 and 290 burn so I still have a lot of food to use which is going to be so good. So we're going to be starting off the video by doing some defense training through Slayer just like I did in the last video but most of this video is not going to be Slayer like the last one it is just me getting 40 defense and then after that trying out Dragon Slayer and then just judge upon that like if it's way too hard I might need better gear or if it's way 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 too hard then I yeah I need to level up my stats even further so I guess we're just going to have to see how it goes and I'm going to start off with a 73 cave crawler assignment well that's how many I have left I think or like 77 to start off with I don't know how far I'm going to get from 33 to 40 but we will have to see you know, even though I really need to pick up super anti-poison every time I want to do a cave crawler assignment, it's actually very good loot. Like, these nature runes I can use for high alk now that I do have the level for it. And all these herbs is going to be so good when I'm going to be doing herb lore in the future. But I do actually get a lot of levels from doing Slayer. Like, that Slayer assignment took me maybe 5 minutes, and I got all the way from 33 to 37 defense, and I also got 2 Slayer levels. So, it feels good, man. It feels really good. Oh, nice. 81 hill giants. Now, that's going to definitely give me more than 40 defense, but I do want to complete the assignments after that i guess i'll just train strength or something we will have to see but i'm going to be picking up all the bones and just bury them instantly and it's going to be 50 uh, 15 experience times 81 so i guess that's going to be like 1.4k experience a bit less than that and i currently have 2.7k so i guess that's pretty good experience even though it's not like amazing amounts it's just good additional experience so yeah, I just quickly completed the assignments, I now have 8 tasks done overall and 40, 40, 40 in the combat stats and then also 18 prayers, so that's pretty cool. I guess I'll just pick up a new assignment even though I really don't need it. 78 shades, I, that's a weird one, but anyways, I feel like it's time to get into Dragon Slayer. If I do completely get crushed by Elvarg, then I guess I'll go back to Slayer again or I'll do something else like a quest or something or a couple of quests to make it a bit more interesting than just only Slayer. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying out Elvarg. So I actually spoke to a guy who had already completed Dragon Slayer on a fairly low level Iron Man back in the days and he said there is no way with your stats you're going to be able to kill Elvarg unless you get 43 prayer then you might actually be able to do it so that is actually what i'm going to be doing and the way i'm going to be doing it is through killing blue dragons and actually when i thought about this i was like yes i can kill dragons i do not want to kill the green dragons in the wilderness because i can't be ours dying and losing stuff and all that and killing green dragons with melee or just overall magic and having to bring like a shit ton of runes and then dying with that that would be a pain in the ass so i was like blue dragons should work but do i really hit blue dragons with magic and the answer is yes, I actually hit them super consistently, you can see that on the screen right now. I'm actually kind of shredding them even though the hits are kind of low. I'm hitting them all the time, like splashes are really really rare. So overall I'm going to be collecting about 167 dragon bones I think it was. And I currently have like 60 in the bank so I have about overall 75. So I'm getting about halfway there and after that I'm going to be using them all on the Ectophantas and that should give me 43 prayer and then I can get into the quest. Now doing the Ectophantas Funtus process was not the most fun thing ever to do but we are done I'm now 42 prayer and 11 experience of 43 which is the end goal to get that protect melee prayer and actually overall getting 43 prayer I thought it was going to be way worse than it was I only had to afk like blue dragons for a couple of hours get some more money to be able to buy the runes by picking up steel plate bodies in the wilderness also I did alex some stuff that I got like rune daggers from the dragons that I killed so it wasn't actually too bad and then I had to use all the 162 bones on the ectophantas I had to get all the slime and all that you know the process guys and I'm going to be getting 43 prayer now and after that we're going to have a try at Dragon Slayer and this is going to be exciting and I'm not actually sure if I'm going to use melee because I have 40 in all of the stats or if I'm going to go magic because I have 61 in it I think it's going to have to be just experimental and see what happens 
Alright, so it's time to try out Elvarg and this is my inventory. I'm just kidding. Already done it, boys. Yeah, that was actually easier than I expected. Now, I only used half of my inventory of food and I did use lobsters. I actually didn't use any prey potions and I prayed magic and honestly, it didn't really seem like it was very good. Like, all the guides said, use magic protect because it's going to do a lot of magic damage. When I used magic protect, it felt like the exact same amount of damage taken as if I wouldn't have used it. You know, I think the best thing to pray is probably for melee. Uh, I don't know, the magic hits seems to be just like all, this, all the time around 8, 10, around that. And it wasn't really a big difference using protect from magic or not. But the boss fight is fairly hard. Uh, like, I have 61 magic and that's probably a bit overkill to, be, to do the boss. I don't know actually. But like, when I did try it the first time, I used melee and that was not enough. It was close enough though, because I got the boss to like 30 HP and it has 80, so I did more than half. And I was using the rune scimitar on the stab because it is weak to stab but due to the fact that my magic level is just way higher 21 levels over all my melee stats using magic and death runes and using the uh, let's see what the spell is called the fire blast it was just way more effective and the hits were pretty much just as consistent as the melee hits but the hits were like 15s sometimes and just one of those hits is enough to chunk down the HP a lot So magic was definitely the way to go and sorry about that lengthy explanation But if you are ever going to do this on your Iron Man I just wanted to let you know that prayer didn't really seem it was like it was needed uh, You know, it's sure cool to have 43 prayer and I'm going to be using it like for sure in my PVMing in the future So it's not waste of time at all, but if you have 61 magic like, look at me, I used this gear and I was fine. It's really not that hard. And of course, we can now wear the iconic rune plate body, but I do not have any money for it, so I might actually go to the wilderness like two, three trips and try to get the money through just picking up the steel plate bodies and selling them to the store. I'm not sure if buying a rune plate body is any of my concerns right now. I mean, I do have a mithril chain body, so that's pretty shitty, but overall, I don't know if it's going to be great. Uh, I don't know, I might do something else, we will have to see, but I can now at least wear it if I want to and if I have the money for it. But the experience is also very good, I got 40 defense levels and four strength levels so we're all not too bad uh, and I'm going to actually check uh, yeah how much does a room play body cost I don't even know let's see oh and yeah I can also get the green dehyde body I completely forgot that so 84k it's actually kind of expensive yeah that's like four trips or something to the wilderness so I'm not going to do that right now but for the record I can now buy it so the overall agility level you need to be able to complete recipe for disaster is actually only 48, so it really isn't that high. So I just thought, you know, I'm running out of energy really fast, I don't have any stamina potions or anything like that, so I might as well just get some agility levels, and you know, you can get the graceful outfit meanwhile doing it, maybe one or two pieces. I have no idea how many graceful marks I'm going to be getting, but anyways, I'm currently 23, and uh, you know, I'm just going to get back to you guys when I'm 48, I'm going to smash out the grind, and uh, just complete the overall agility requirement for the quest so let's do that and I'll get back to you guys with how many marks of grace I have and let's see if we can buy any of the pieces for the set all right, there we go, that is 48 agility, not nearly as annoying as I thought it would be, and the amount of Mark of Graces we have is actually 91. So that's not bad at all, actually. I think the full set costs 260, and I currently have uh, 8 Marks of Grace in the bank from 1 to 22, I think. So overall, I have 99. Maybe I should just get, like, 100 real quick. I think I'll do that, I'll get 100, and then I'll go and see what we can buy with that. So just looking at the prices of all the different items, I think I'll just buy the legs. I want to buy the most expensive thing first, so I'm going to do that. Those are the legs, and then after that, I think I'll buy something for 40. So that is going to be either the cape or the boots. I think I'll buy the boots because I already have RD Cloak, which is pretty good to use. So I guess I'll have that. Can I buy them? Oh, I did buy them. All right, nice. Now I have the legs and the boots graceful set not bad so now i just need the what is it there's four pieces five pieces overall so i still need three pieces i'll easily get that in the future when i do uh, agility it really isn't hard getting these marks but anyways that is going to be it for this video i do hope you guys did enjoy it and if you did please leave a like and by the way for the next video i think i will be actually going to the mage arena i'm not sure if i can do it yet i should be able to though to be honest because i do have the 60 magic requirement to be able to get that staff as 
well as the cape. I mostly want the cape to be honest, the uh, weapon isn't that good. It might be good for maybe early barrels or something, but it's just way too costly to cast those spells, even though they might be pretty good, but I just want the cloak because it has so much mage accuracy, or maybe it's mage damage, I'm not completely sure, but it's a very good magic cloak, so I, that's something I really want to get. And I do have the level for it, as I said, so for sure I will be trying that out in the next video, but anyways, as I said for now, this is going to be the end of this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.